Okay, so what we have here is a typical Griswold low base, meaning this base is very low to the burner. This little area right in here is to catch this batter when it seeps out, when you put it inside the paddles. So what I'm gonna do here is go through the whole process. First, I preheat the paddles, both sides, to around, on an electric stove, around five, whatever temperature that is. Once I get one side hot on five, I flip it over to the other side. Then, I'm going to go ahead and lubricate the waffle iron. I usually use uh, canola, oil, pure, simple, non-stick. Open the paddles up like this. It's gonna be a little smoky. Don't worry about it. Spray them liberally. There you go. This won't hurt you. Then you're gonna take your batter that you've already made. And you're gonna pour it into the paddles. Don't be shy with it. Once that happens, go ahead and close this, and you'll notice around the edges, everything's starting to rise. So that means that the paddles are, uh, all the batter is getting into the whole form. It's kind of messy, but I mean, that's the way they did it back in the 20s. Okay, you let it cook for a second. I bring it up to generally almost a high here. And if you've got a gas stove or something and you're afraid of the flame, you can go ahead and cut this right here, cut it right here, cut it right here, and that'll get this from falling back into the fire. Supposedly. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I feed my dogs all this stuff right here. All that stuff. Tastes good. Okay, been cooking for a minute. I'll take it, raise it like this, flip it over. Once I've flipped it over, I can kind of inspect. Ah. Mmm, scrumptious wholesomeness for your friends. Then I just let it stay like that and cook until it smokes me out of the house. Whichever crispness comes first.